Ugh. Okay, I guess it's time to get back to work. What's this? Oh, Budrick. What's going on? Hey, look! Holy sh! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Guys, 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 guys! Dudes! 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 What is going on today? <laughs> <laughs> In the words of the immortal despot Skeletor, <laughs> everything comes to he who waits. And I have been waiting such a very long time for this moment. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes! Guys, I can't freaking believe this. Oh my god, I just finished cutting the the, the, the episode, which I thought was going to be today's Mo Tuesdays. And holy crap, did, Ma did, did Mattel just literally slam me in the face with something completely different. I want to give a huge shout out to Budrick. Um, sorry, Gamer Bud. <laughs> who literally just messaged me like not even five minutes ago and said, Dude! And I'm like, what? And I looked up and I'm like, dude, what is going on? Guys, let's dive into this right now. There's no more taking a look at this. We have to take a look at We have to take a look at this, guys. This is absolutely, absolutely freaking insane. Oh my freaking God. Guys, let's take a look. Skeletor wants to take a look too. <laughs> oh my God, everybody. Holy crap. This is absolutely insane. I literally, literally just finished cutting uh, my first Mo Tuesdays uh, video for today. And I had no idea. I had absolutely no idea. I, I got a message from friend of the channel, um, GamerBud, and he was like, dude! And I was like, what? I checked the message, and he literally showcased these amazing images, and I lost my freaking mind. I literally, literally lost my mind. Guys, let's take a deep dive into this, because today is the Mo Tuesday I've been waiting for, and I didn't even know it was going to happen. This is absolutely incredible. Huge shout out to GamerBud. Thank you again, my friend. You are the best. Check it out, everybody. Oh my god. Over here on the Instagram account, Masters, which is the official Masters of the Universe Instagram account for... Uh, Mattel, check it out, everybody. Holy crap! Oh my god! Yes! 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 Mo Tuesday, He-Man, Heroic Defender of Eternia, and Mo Tuesday, Skeletor, Evil Tyrant of Eternia movie figures have been announced. Oh my god! Oh my god! Let's read this. Let's read a little bit about this, guys. According to Masters. At the center of the universe, at the border between the light and the dark, stands new Masterverse figures. These figures feature the authentic detailing, accurate weapons, accessories, and packaging art, all inspired by the 1987 Masters of the Universe film. <laughs> yes! Yes, 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 yes! I'm not the only one who's excited about this. Travis says, oh my god, how much the, cr the Crimson... Um, the, the Crimson on, sorry, the Crimson uh, C0 Met, uh, that's right, the Crimson Comet says, oh my god, yes, 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 uh, Rick Astley says, Skelly looks dope, Runamuck says, my poor bank balance, <laughs> yes, Runamuck, oh my gosh, Lost the Collector says, yes, Ephra says, clap, 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 lit, 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 oh my god, my mind isn't blown, Gabrielle yes, says, yes, good journey, oh my goodness, both look great, Arcane Long says, Dolph Lundgren, yes. Uh, Carvis says, wow, Masterverse movie figures, I never expected this. Pretty darn cool and a lot more affordable than the ones from a few years ago. Oh my god, this is absolutely true. Let's take a deeper dive into this, guys. Let's not take any more time. Oh my god, this is absolutely insane. Here we go, everybody. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, here we are, everybody. Mo Tuesdays, He-Man, Heroic Defender of Eternia. Look at that movie edition sword. Oh, it's so gorgeous. It is absolutely... And you know what? As far as I can tell, it is movie accurate. That's gorgeous. Look at the size of it. Look at, look, look at, look at the bloodlet, the fuller. And, uh, you know, look, look, look at the details. I love the little shine that they added as a tiny little bit of, uh, you know, just a ping of the lens. Gorgeous. I love the hilt. I love the way the sword... I was always hoping for a replica sword of, uh, of, of, the, of the Sword of Power. It would be absolutely massive and gigantic, but I don't care. It would look amazing. Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, huh. Okay, so here comes my first critique. <laughs> here comes my first critique. What the heck happened to Dolph Lundgren's face? Oh no. 
Oh no, what's going on there? Something's up. Okay, so I'm wondering if they're still working on these on these sculpts because I've got to tell you, something's going on with the eyes. The eyes look a little bit weird. The face, hmm, hmm, the face, hmm, interesting, interesting on the face. Let's not dwell on that too much. Let's take a look at some of the other details. Uh, obviously, it's 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 based on. It looks like an. Uh, um, it looks like this more of the standard buck. Maybe the arms are a little bit uh, bigger, uh, but I do know that this the, the arms definitely look like a new um, a, a new sculpting because the the uh, the uh, the the arm the upper arm bicep. Uh, um, I don't know what are those uh, um, straps. I guess I guess I'm going to call those the upper bicep straps. They look like they're molded into the uh, the, the biceps. So that's really that's really really cool. I like that. Uh, oh God, I'm loving. I'm loving the shoulder pauldrons. Holy crap, look at the detail in those. Wow, those are really, really detailed. I really love the way they look. Um, and you know, they said that this was authentic to the movie, so in freaking incredible. Wow. I love the um, his, his, his straps crest. It's not obviously the Iron Cross. It is not uh, made of, col uh, as far as we know, it's not made of, uh, of Cordite. Cordite, it's not made of Cordite. It's a golden, you know, a, a, a golden representation of his straps. Oh man, but it, it looks so beautiful. Wow, just gorgeous. Um, if we zoom out a little bit, he does have a soft goods cape. I love the pattern at the bottom. Oh my gosh. That is something I think that uh, the Super 7 version did not have, unfortunately. But I do love the way they've adorned it with all that heraldry at the bottom. Gorgeous. Oh my god, just wonderful. He does have a dagger. Which is beautiful. He, he's got a uh, his belt does have some uh, you know the the buckle looks beautiful as well. He has a blaster, which of course is very unusual for He Man, but you know this very very accurate to the original to the original movie. And he does have a sheath, a gigantic sheath uh, strapped to his back. Beautiful. Oh my god, that's incredible. I love the I love the the oh my god the the shin pads, the knee pads. Oh my gosh, he's got actually two daggers. I didn't know that. There you go. Holy crap. And his, oh my god, his boots. His boots look really, really well detailed as well. Oh, jeez, this is a dream come true, everybody. I love the gauntlet on his left. And, and his, oh man, just everything about this is beautiful. I will go ahead and say I'm not the biggest fan of the facial sculpt yet. And I do say yet, because there's time. There must be time. He, he is, he is not, he's, the face is not exactly there. It's not exactly there, the face. But there's time. There is time to fix this. Guys. This is incredible. Holy crap. I will have to say this too. Um, I think they should have went with the uh, 40th anniversary chest. That's just my opinion. Okay, that's just my opinion. But in my opinion, I think that, that they would have been better off with the 40th anniversary chest. Other than that though, holy crap. This is absolutely bonkers. I can't believe it. He-Man, Heroic Defender of Eternia. Absolutely insane. Let's take a look at... Skeletor, evil tyrant of Eternia. Oh, oh, oh man, Christmas, Easter, you know, freaking my birthday. Everything just came together today. This is insane. Holy crap! Holy crap! Oh my god, guys! Oh my god! There he is! There he is! This is Skeletor. Oh my god! Finally, Skeletor is ours. No, mine. <laughs> Skeletor is not yours yet. Hmm. Someone is speaking to me. <laughs> Guys, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm absolutely, absolutely over the moon with this. This is just insane. Look at that Havoc staff. Oh my god, it is so gorgeous. It is It is such a wonderful representation of what was in, on screen. It looks beautiful. I love the pinging of the lens. It's just, just amazing. Okay. This is going to be my biggest grape of the whole thing. The head sculpts aren't ready. The head sculpts are not exactly there. All right, so it seems to me uh, it's pretty obvious that these sculpts are... Um, yeah, I'm not sure they were still able to get the the the, the likenesses for, for Frank Langella at the very least. Because they do look... Like, just from the first blush. From, just from the first blush. They don't exactly look like, uh, you know, Dolph Lundgren and Frank Langella. Not exactly, but these are very early promotional photos. Uh, as a matter of fact, these are just announcement photos, so we really don't know what we're in store for. 
right, you got to remember that these figures here, right, from the Master Universe Classics, they could not use the likenesses from Frank from, from Frank Langella or or Dolph Lundgren. These had to be, uh, you know, designer. Uh, concept sketches from the actual uh, the, the the concept designs. Uh, Super Seven was what worked really really hard to actually get that done. And if if you look really closely, you can definitely see that that is definitely not Duff Lundgren, and that's definitely not Fra Frank Langella. Although this, because of the makeup, it does got pretty pretty close. I have to say. If you never had the opportunity to get these two, this is a golden opportunity I should pick these up. Honestly, let's dive right back in and take a look at a little bit of a closer, closer dive into this. This is absolutely insane. Holy shit, everybody. This is crazy. And I am curious, I really am, if they actually were not able to secure the the the, 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 the facial likenesses uh, for for Frank Langella and, and, and Dolph Lundgren, unfortunately. Um, even though Frank, even though Dolph Lundgren was at the, 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 the premiere, sorry, the, the, um, the San Diego Comic-Con um, uh, panel, I'm now starting to wonder if they were not actually able to secure the licenses because that, that doesn't look like Frank Langella. Even though the, 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 mouth is, the mouth is more or less accurate, the eyes look very, very good, it's just not there. It's it, and, and if it's if it's not that, they just it's not quite there yet. It's not quite there yet. But you know what? I don't care. I'm loving the fact that we're getting another chance at a, a Masterverse a set of figures uh, that are just you know movie based. This is incredible. Oh my god. Oh my freaking god, guys. This is absolutely nuts. I love the straps. Oh, oh the, those. What are those things? They're 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 just like again hanging straps. What are they? I don't care. They look so gorgeous. It's 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 just crazy. Uh, you know the, the the armor, the the the, the belt, the uh, what's it called? The side skirts. Oh my god! Look at those pauldrons. The cape. Just everything looks beautiful. Oh my gosh! Even the, even his gauntlets, and his 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 uh, his gloves. My goodness! I love the tips. You know the little the little tiny skulls at the tips of his fingers, and oh man, just just all the the wonderful e demonic heraldry everywhere, just looking so great. Oh my god, this is beautiful. This is great. I love the show. I love the shin pads, the boots. Incredible, bravo, bravo, Mattel. The only thing that they didn't do, which they, which they sort of did for He Man, which is kind of weird, they don't have uh, any of the adornments that are on his uh, that are on Skeletor's cape, which is weird because that is something that. Uh, Super Seven really paid attention to uh, when they did their version of Skeletor, which uh, which is unfortunate. But you know what? It's the one thing I think I can I can forgive. Uh, you know you know what I mean. Uh, the 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 one thing I'm I'm sort of still gonna haggle on and I'm still really gonna be a little bit nitpicky on is definitely gonna be the facial scups. They have facial real technology now. They can actually do facial scans. Um, and you know what? We had a whole bunch of shots in the movies where you saw the front facing Skeletor. So. I'm wondering if that's what they tried to do. I wonder if they tried to scan in the movie still of uh, Frank Langella, and it just didn't work out. That's uh, that's actually what I'm thinking because the 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 the, the cliff, the tiny the tiny little bit on the front of his of his uh, of his mouth, it looks perfect. But the eyes, something something's not exactly right there. Something's not exactly right. But you know what? It doesn't matter. We are gonna get. We are getting confirmed, guys. This has been announced. We are getting. Movie figures for Masters of the Universe. Oh my god. Today. Today. Is absolutely amazing. Oh. My. God. Guys. Ah. I, I, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm blown away. I'm blown away. What a 40th anniversary for this. You know, we had our suspicions. We had our suspicions as to why Dolph Lundgren would be at, you know, San Diego Comic-Con on the stage for the 40th anniversary. There, were, there was much speculation going on, but of course, they didn't answer any actual, actual questions. So today, all those questions have been laid to rest. Yes, we are finally getting the Master Universe Masterverse. Oh my god, celebration figures. Oh my god, these are absolutely incredible. No word on pricing, no word on the actual release, but my god. I think many of us who are huge fans, particularly me, are super excited about this. I mean, I am an absolutely huge fan of the Master Universe um, you know, motion picture. Oh my God, I, I I love that film. I have it on Laserdisc. I have it on DVD. I've got it on VHS. I've got it in so many different formats. I can't even remember how many I have. I've collected as much of the product as, as I could. I mean, you know, I do. I was fortunate enough when uh, to be around when Super Seven still had the license and they were able to do these, which were pretty much some of the last figures in the line for the Master of Universe uh, classics classics uh, figures. These are a cherished cherished part of my collection, and. 
as is right now, I think that these actually might stay in their packaging because I am going to be able to get a Masterverse edition of these, which is going to be absolutely in freaking incredible. Oh my god, this is insane, guys. Holy crap. This this is just this is just beyond me. I cannot I cannot freaking believe this. Guys, 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 guys. Oh my god, I am obviously way too excited for this, but I want to know your opinions, guys. What are your thoughts about this announcement for the Master Universe 40th anniversary? movie figures that are just about to be that are have been announced today and are going to be released oh my god are you guys excited for this are you guys going to put down some money for these figures are you anticipating when the actual uh release is god i hope that these things are not mattel creations exclusive oh my god oh my god i hope that that's not the case are you guys worried about that are you guys going to be putting your money down for these figures or did you take a look at these guys and looked at their their facial scops and said, what the heck is going on? And are you hoping that there's still enough time to actually change those facial sculpts? Or are you actually not a fan of the Master Universe movie and you basically say, what the heck? You know, just pass on by. Please leave those comments in the comment section below. Guys, guys, this is an amazing announcement. Oh my god, this literally blew me out of the water. I thought we were just going to get, you know, a random animation uh, announcement and be done with it, but no. Bravo, Mattel. Bravo. Talk about the one thing which Skeletor continues to always say. And you know what? It's the truest form of all. He did say, Everything comes to he who waits, and I have been waiting a very long time for this moment. We have been waiting the longest time, everybody. This is absolutely, absolutely insane. Guys, if you enjoyed this episode, please do leave me a like. It really does help me out. <laughs> I hope you're all doing well and staying safe, and I hope you enjoyed today's announcement, guys, because I know I did. I hope you're all doing well, staying safe. And as always, everybody, thank you very much for watching. <laughs> we have the power. Keep proud, everybody. I want to give a huge shout out to all my Patreon and channel member supporters. Thank you so much for your support, guys. It really means a lot and really helps the channel to keep growing.